Paris, Berlin, Tokyo or Rio, maybe even Shanghai? One of the most important decisions to make when starting a car sharing service is deciding where to launch. Let's take a closer look at the factors you need to consider when selecting the right city for you. First, degree of familiarity. You may already have operations running in a certain city or have established connections with government officials. In fact, simply being familiar with the city's culture or lifestyle can be very advantageous as you literally map out your strategy. Second, city size and population density. The higher the density, the better. More inhabitants means more potential users. Third, type of service. Free-floating or station-based. When deciding between the two options, the free-floating model is strongly recommended since it has a larger potential of attracting customers thanks to its flexibility. It's worth noting, though, that both models can be quite complementary since they cover different types of use cases, such as commuting to work versus running errands versus taking a road trip. Finally, openness. Focus on cities that are open to car sharing and other innovative forms of shared mobility. Don't forget that when communicating with city officials, make sure to strategically frame your narrative around the value of mutual gain that can be achieved by integrating car sharing services into the city's infrastructure. Do. Identify which car sharing business model to launch based on your strategic goals. Determine the right city for you based on familiarity and objectives. Favor cities that prioritize sustainable mobility. Don't. Underestimate the importance of a city's transportation ecosystem. Be deterred by a competitive environment. Avoid collaborating with city officials.